This women's 64 kilo weight category was by far the most exciting session that we've seen at the Olympic Games. It just goes to show that it's not always about having the one outlier, the Kuo Sung Chun, the, the Lash Talakadze who can just hit these records. It's about having a close pack where every every single kilo counts. I mean, we had Mo Sharon, the Pan American champion. We had 34-year-old Mercedes Perez, Sarah Davies, Georgia Bourdignon, Wen Hui Chen, the list goes on and on. Speaking of which, today's episode of the Weightlifting House Recap is brought to you by the Weightlifting House Wrist Straps, 20% off for the next 24 hours. These wrist straps aren't there just to keep your wrists warm, but to strengthen them. There's a link down below. The group started with a string of changes as lifters jockeyed position. Marina Rodriguez from Cuba ended up coming out first to take her opener at 95 kilos, which looked very comfortable. The Filipino lifter Elreen Ando followed up with a very nice looking 96 kilos, and then several lifters then all opted to come out at 97 kilos. Turkey's Nure Levent went first to hit it, and then Chinese Taipei's Chen Wenhui followed shortly after, looking equally as strong in the lockout. Lisa Schweizer from Germany matched them, perhaps not looking quite so comfortable, but she made it. And then Great Britain's Sarah Davies was the last of the athletes at 97 kilos. She needed just a moment in the hole to stabilize the lift at the bottom, but she was given a 2 to 1 decision in her favor. To be honest, it should have been three white lights. Italy's Giorgio Bordignon then decided to go a kilo higher than everybody else, recognizing how important those one kilo leads would be, and hit a very fast looking 98 kilos. Amazingly, at this point, nobody had missed yet, but somebody was going to have to break that curse, and it turned out to be the Cuban lifter Marina Rodriguez, who couldn't get 98 kilos overhead for her second attempt. She then came back for her third lift and managed to hold it with a really good fight in the bottom for a good lift. Ando then came out for her second attempt and was also close at 99 kilos, dunk walking the bar forward, but her knee dropped touched the floor, which is of course a no lift in weightlifting. Then the Ecuadorian lifter Angie de Homes now entered the fray with 100 kilos, just two kilos under her personal best, which she managed to make. A very gutsy opener for her. And by this point, that pack who had earlier opened at 97 kilos would all take turns in attempting 100 kilos for their second attempts. Levent from Turkey got it in and was followed by Taipei's Chen and then by Germany's Schweitzer. Sarah Davies came close but narrowly missed it. She did get a rest, however, while Ando took and hit 100 kilos on her third attempt. And Sarah Davies did then finally come out and make that 100 kilos for her third and final attempt, just one kilo shy of her personal record. Next, one of the main contenders for the gold medal, Colombian Mercedes Perez, a real favorite amongst the lifters, came out for her opener at 101 kilos. She did miss, though, putting herself under pressure. Italy's Georgia Bourdignon hit the same weight for her second attempt and then Mercedes Perez came back out. Once again, same kind of looking lift. She showed brutal power and she dipped to the side and twisted, but a lot of determination she was able to make that lift despite being so unstable. And finally, the person who I figured would be the front runner, who I predicted a couple of weeks ago would be the winner of this session from Canada, Maud Charon, opened up with 102 kilos and she made it look very easy, very fast, almost in a world of her own at this point, but it didn't turn out to be quite so easy. By this point, the whole field was separated by just a few kilos with five lifters still with snatch attempts remaining. The lifters by this point had pushed themselves for second attempt so much that it was perhaps not surprising that we started to see quite a few misses at this point. Schweitzer and Levent missed their third attempts at 102 and 103 kilos respectively, but Chen made 103 look perfect. Angie de Homes from Ecuador also looked great on her second lift, hitting 104 kilos and making it look like she could actually be in the lead after the snatch, as such was the ease of that attempt. Bordignon then did the exact same thing to put her in with a shot on the clean and jerks, and she celebrated in her usual fiery manner. She ended up with 104 kilos. Mercedes Perez, again, very aggressively and powerfully came out for 105 kilos for a third attempt to keep her really in the running in that front group, but she swung the bar around and lost it behind. Morcheron came out for 105 kilos on her second attempt, and again, it looked like absolute perfection. She stuck it, no wobble, 
under very fast and got up with a, a nice second attempt at 105. Angie De Homes then took a huge jump going up to 108 kilos, a huge personal record for her. Probably knowing that, you know, with the clean and junks, she doesn't sit quite as strongly as some of her competitors. She needed to get a bit of a lead. She got it above her head, but she couldn't quite keep it there. One lift remained then at this point. Maud Charon took 108 kilos to open up a potentially really decisive lead here above everybody else. But just like the Colombian lifter, she swung it over her head and missed it behind. So just to show how tight things were at this point, going into the clean and jerks, just seven kilos separated 10 lifters. And four weightlifters were within two kilos of the top spot of 105. The clean and jerks again saw a rush of changes at the start as the clock started with the Philippine and German coaches trading changes. That eventually led to Levent, the Turkish lifter, coming out for 116 kilos. She staggered a little bit under the jerk, but she did make the lift. Germany's Schweitzer then made 117 look, well, pretty tough, but she got white lights. And then Ando also looked to be opening heavy with 118 kilos, but she did fine. Cuba's Marina Rodriguez did the same kind of thing and looked much more like she had more to come. Levent then made 120. And then with a 104 kilo snatch in the bag, 34 year old Georgia Bourdignon from Italy, one of the leaders after the snatch, came out surprisingly early at 121 kilos and took it confidently despite it being not too far below her best. Schweitzer tried the same weight but couldn't get the bar high enough on the jerk. She was then minuted with a clever but tactical move from the Turkish coaches and that short rest made a tough situation even tougher and she couldn't make the clean. The Ecuadorian Angie de Homes chose 122 kilos to open and hit it to keep her in medal contention. Ando then tried the same but couldn't make the jerk after a tough clean. She did much better on a final attempt getting the bounce on the clean and nailing the jerk. Next, the Cuban Rodriguez got 123 kilos overhead and was two white lights, but the jury stepped in to take the lift away for a press out. Her coaches cleverly used the challenge card to buy a little bit of time and then she came back to make the lift with a much better lockout. Levent tried 124 kilos for her last attempt, but ended up clarking it, just pulling it to the hip before lowering it back down. Mercedes Perez, with a bit of a climb to come back from after the snatches, opened with 126 kilos. The rack, as often with her, didn't look great on the clean, and one referee didn't like the jerk, but it passed with two white lights. Georgia Bourdignon at this point came out for a second attempt at 126 kilos, again looking comfortable and just furthering her total forward and forward. Taipei's Chen came out with 127 kilos and completed it with apparent ease. Sarah Davies, who had still yet to open, tried to do the same for her first attempt. An enormous opener for Sarah, two kilos under her competition PR, but unfortunately she got buried by the clean. Her second attempt, however, was much better with a nice clean and a seemingly endless pause before the jerk, but she did put it overhead. Angie de Homes missed 127 kilos twice, both times hitting the bar on the back of her head as she lost the jerk forward. And so she was out with a 226 kilo total. And finally, it was time for snatch front runner from Canada, Maud Charon, to come out and open at 128 kilos, which again is a heavy opener for her. This lift would in many ways almost pretty much assure her gold, but she ended up getting dizzy after the clean and she ended up standing there for too long and had to drop the bar. She was unable to go overhead. And so she was in a tough spot at this position. She was following herself but also with the Italian coaches poised to minute her if she missed. Her second attempt, however, was strong, leaving no doubt she made the 128 to move herself into a somewhat commanding position. Georgia Bourdignon then, for her third and final attempt, selected 128 kilos and destroyed it to go 6 for 6 to sit on a 232 kilo total, which would give her a great chance of a medal. At this point, just one kilo behind Maud Charon's 233. Taipei's Chen then opted not to go for gold, taking 130 kilos instead to try and level up with Mo Charon, take the silver. She unfortunately collapsed under the jerk though. And so Sarah Davies and Mo Charon then both moved up in order to minute Chen and bring her straight back out. She came out and got the clean after three bounces, but the jerk was just beyond her. So she ended up with a 230 kilo total, sitting at that point in third place. 
Mercedes Perez still in the hunt for a medal and more than capable of these types of numbers with two attempts remaining, took 131 kilos on a second to try to put her name on a medal, but it ended up missing it. Sarah Davies then opted to move up to 133 kilos and so more Cheryl from Canada on her third and final attempt, already sitting in the lead at 233, went up to 131 kilos herself for a final lift and she managed to make it all but ensuring that she would take the gold. She was now in a commanding lead and surely no one with their final attempt would attempt to try and move ahead of her but just go for medal spot instead. And so for Mercedes Perez's final lift she went for 131 kilos but again she missed and she screamed and she collapsed on the floor she was absolutely gutted so she would end up with 227 kilos in the total leaving Great Britain's Sarah Davies with the final lift of the competition, which I'm sure is the way that she would have wanted it to have it up to herself as to what was going to happen. She went for 133 kilos, a four kilo competition PR for a shot at the silver medal. Sadly for Sarah, she didn't catch the bounce, something that she needs with her lifts. And so she ended up getting buried on the clean. And so that left Bourdignon to take the silver, Chen to take the bronze, behind the new Olympic champion from Canada, Maud Cheryl. Let's look at the stats. 10 lifters, 60 attempts, 37 makes, 23 misses, 17 out of 20 first attempts, which is the most successful first attempts of any session yet, 11 out of 20 second attempts, and 9 out of 20 third attempts. Don't forget that for the next 24 hours, it is 20% off the weightlifting house wrist wraps. They don't just keep your wrist feeling warm, they make them feel stronger. I'll be back tomorrow for the men's 73 kilo weight category as we watch Shizu Yong aim to defend his Olympic gold.